and the motion is carried. Is there any old business? Any new business? <coughs> I would like to announce that Public Works will meet at the Lewin McMurray building on November 10th and there's going to be an open house from 1 to 3 o'clock uh, for the 10th year anniversary. So we would like to see all of you there if possible. And also, I think uh, Mr. Lukens has not been introduced to everyone. Mr. Bob Lukens, our uh, new community director, do you want to raise your hand so they know who you are? Welcome. Thank you. Is there any public comment under a new topic? Hello. I was here concerning the uh, name, sir. My name is William McCall. Mr. Will McGowan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was here concerning that the rules they have for buses, transportation. Uh, what it did was really made it impossible for some of the seniors and uh, people with disabilities. You, you can't get up on every corner like you used to, and it would put a lot of people in the street with wheelchairs and the ones that put the little food carts, and at one the time they won't be able to do that. They won't be able to. Then you have to walk a block and a half or two blocks now to go back to where you, where you was going. Whoever made that rule, I guess they probably didn't know, but they heard almost everybody when they did that. Like I said, it made it almost impossible for the seniors and the uh, people with disabilities to get around. Especially when bad weather, up, they just they won't be able to make it. Mr. Mr. McGowan, we have uh, Mr. Lukens here, and maybe at, at the end of the meeting, you will get an opportunity to talk with him. Okay. Okay, Mr. Lukens will be there. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Mrs. Fulger? Give us your name, please. Good afternoon. Susan Fulger Myers, uh, Senior Representative of Story Connection. Mr. McGowan uh, is challenged, I am sure, by the, the current system. But what I'm here to offer is some opportunity to have some education, some awareness. Our understanding also was the stops would enhance the transit opportunity to have more loops going so that it could be um, even faster uh, trips than what it was before. So I think I I'm here to say that though we recognize that this system will challenge some folks, one of the things that I would ask you to do is to allow us to continue having some dialogue um, with, with Mr. Coons and give some input, constructive input, and uh, the point of the snow coming. Um, this encourage the city to encourage its citizens to shovel snow. That is a real problem, including in the downtown area. So I don't know what you could do as a county to encourage city staff to encourage its members that you know where I'm going with that uh, because it really truly is very very difficult for people with disabilities to get around downtown when its citizens don't shovel. Well thank you very much. We will take this under consideration and you also may talk to Mr. Lincoln. May I? Thank you. May I say one more word please? Mr. McGowan? Yeah. May I say one more word? Yes. Uh, <laughs> she said it would make the buses faster. I've been riding the buses every day for uh, three years or so. She must go and know anything about the bus route. If you make them faster, then people will miss that little place they're supposed to be at. Oh, like Sarah, for instance, I was out by. Uh, over across the bridge at the little mall, and the bus really come up that way about 49 or 50 after the hour. So they came about five or six minutes early, and I wasn't there, but I was there. 
and the bus driver got on me because I wasn't there. But she came early. I was trying to explain it. She came early. If you come too early, you're going to miss. I mean, like, like me, I almost missed the bus, but she let me on anyway. But they don't make it no fast enough. It depends on how many people you pick up, uh, how, how fast you be. And some of the drivers, they be too fast anyway, so they just go down by the bus station and park, and then go on up to the station when they're time for the you, know, you got designated tanks for the, get the bus station. And if they're too early, they just have to park and wait. So that's not making it any faster. Like I said, I've been riding them every day for three years, I know. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. We'll take that anyone else? Yes, could you come and give us your name, Sarah? My name is Jim Riley. I live in Martin Shores. Um, aside from the tis tisking going on over here, which is frankly quite rude and not very professional at all, um, I have a radio show that I have on Sundays, uh, I on the Ski on WKBZ 1090, but we are talking about the bus system this Sunday. So I've been riding the bus system all week. And it really shocked me um, that we went to this new system with the, with the signs, which, which works in a big city where people are looking for where to go to, uh, to catch the bus. But I've been on, I think, six of the, the eight or 10 routes that they've got. But it seems to me that we could help folks like that gentleman there. Uh, we already have these bus stop signs up which are there but if you could just allow the bus drivers to pick people up who had been doing this for years which i imagine is to raise your hand like you might a cab that would satisfy the need for people who can't get to a corner it's not been plowed uh, if it is uh, uh, down the road if it's the weather's bad and again if if the bus is one minute early then you miss the bus and on the routes that I went on, they, they run once every hour. So that's, that's a 59 minute wait. So I would say that there's probably an easy way to address this, and that would be just informing the bus drivers that they can pick people up who wave them down uh, in addition to the other stops. Thank you very much, Mr. Riley. Is there anyone else in the audience who wishes to be heard? Okay. Well, the buses are pretty good. The buses are on time. My experience was this man knows the system. He drives it all the time, or he rides it all the time. It's a, it's a, as it stands, it's a pretty good system. But they just, they used to have a system that just changed recently. Where you just go along the route, and when the bus came by, you just wave your hand and you pull you over. Um, they spent a lot of money to put these signs up, which are official bus stops, which I can understand the logic behind it. Oh, I, I can understand all of that.